All right, that was Drake, God's Plan. That was Mackenzie's favorite song, and he was he knew all the words singing along, so <laughs> we're going to send that one out to Mackenzie. Thanks for coming on the show. Great job on the show, guys, and maybe you can stick around for a little bit to see Taylor's interview with the band, Wire to the Sky, that are playing tonight with yep. Bird City at the ANAF, and uh, we're going to pass it over to Boss Taylor now so he can get started with that interview. Take it away, Boss Taylor. Oh, um, okay. I want to start asking you. See when if they, let's see if they can hear us over there. Can you oh. guys hear us? Yep. All right. Oh, you can. Good. can okay. You, you can hear At least you can hear me. <laughs> yep. Uh, okay. When did you first get started in music at your hometown? Uh, in my hometown? Yes. Um, or what? He, uh, what is your hometown? Yeah, when what well, is your hometown? Sorry. I grew up in California, but I'm actually uh, in Victoria, B.C. right now. So... If you uh, consider California my hometown, uh, just like in Central California, I probably started when I was about eight years old learning how to play the drums. But um, when I actually started playing music kind of out and trying to make a thing of it, I was probably oh, 19, 20. And at that point, I was living in Ontario. All right. Thank you. Uh, where have you gone on your current tour and where do you go next? Where have I gone? I have been to... Wait, at that point you were living in Ontario, Ontario, California? <laughs> or on t- no, I Ontario. started out in uh, Ontario. I grew up there. And then uh, in high school, I moved to Ontario around Hamilton. Okay. Because there is an Ontario in California. Yeah, I forgot about that, actually. There is. I've never been there, but... <laughs> Anyways, uh, carry on. Back to Boss Taylor. Yes. Now, who are some of your favorite music artists' favorite songs? Ooh, tough question. My favorite artists and my favorite songs by those artists, or well, you can think about it. You we, you could even play a song yourself right now if you want <laughs> to get started to that. While you think about that, we we have a pretty flexible uh, format. Sure. Um. Yeah. Yeah. Well, why don't I play? I'm just thinking about stuff I've been listening to lately. Um. The last um Big Thief record that came out last year was one of my favorite records last year. And uh, the song Mary off that record is pretty incredible. It moves me every time. All uh, right. Thank you. Um, who is your favorite boss team? <laughs> um, I'm not I'm not a big sports fan. Yeah, sometimes you ask, <laughs> do you like sports? Too, when, he asks, when he asks that question often, he asks. Is, but uh, out of, you, out of loyalty like to uh, many of my friends who are, I'll say, the Leafs. Okay, hi, right. my my favorite too. So yes, uh, so now what is your favorite sport to watch or play? <laughs> uh, I actually like playing basketball. I don't I actually don't actually watch it that often, but uh, I like playing it with friends and just shooting hoops. All right, I think uh, I think that's it for me. All right, so let's do a song. Uh, yeah, let's do a song. Sure. Back in 1992, when you were young, didn't have to choose between the vultures and the beggars. Please, best just a man with an enemy. Which side are you standing on? Dollar sign marks. Where the line gets strong They're paying down the main bit So you better get in line Cause the money's going quick But I've got bad news for you kid It's even worse than you think it is So tired of cashing in. The 
worked and worked for 20 odd years You don't have a clue what is happening here you Pay them off and buy advice You saved enough to last your whole life For your own sake, one of these days why don't you just slow down? Cause when you're standing in the forest You should take a look around But I've got bad news for you, kid It's even worse than you think it is I know we all gotta work to live I know we all gotta work to live I get so tired of cashing in I'm tired, I'm tired I've got bad news for you, kid It's even worse than you think it is These days salary is Head down and sing a swim See for you, Natural Point Three FM and well, Wire to the Sky live to air right now, and we got the green screen action happening. Check out the CFRU YouTube. Wire to the Sky is playing at the ANF tonight with Bird City, and I know Grandmaster Mario wanted to add yep. something in, uh, but could we get the name of that song before? Oh we yeah, forget? that yeah, I was gonna ask that yeah. That song's called Work to Live, and uh, it's off a record that I put off put out last spring, about a year exactly a year ago actually. All right. Thank you very much. All right. Go ahead, David. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. About that thing earlier. Uh, yeah, I don't. Uh, I'm about the same. I like playing sports, but I don't really like uh, watching them all that much. <laughs> I do watch them here and there, but. Yeah, I'm the same way. Exactly. Yeah. And my favorite sport is basketball, too. Yeah, it's fun. And yeah. What can you, I say? And you, and you play basketball, eh? Yeah, I do. Yeah, he uh, Grandmaster Mario just wanted to. He thought he didn't want you to feel bad. <laughs> it's a we have a it's a sports variety show that you're on right now. But uh, when we do these uh, interviews, so it's fun for Taylor to ask. Yeah. Taylor's more of the yeah. the sportsman, the most of the sportsmen of the show. Yeah, or, just, how, however you would describe it. And he's been getting really. Uh, we've been getting some surprise responses lately, where where bands are like really into sports oh, I bet. more than what we expected. <laughs> yeah, I think so. so. Now I think Boss Taylor's taking it for granted that everybody's, <laughs> well, that everybody's no, gonna be. But no, like like I remember when we did uh, Bonnie Trash, and when I asked. Her, the uh, the uh, the sports questions. I uh, really do make you see the girl storm. That was a surprise. Uh, yeah, but that you were stoked on that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Okay, so I know Taylor's got a couple other questions before yeah, we well, get to another sure. song, but we sure. also want I also want to say that sometimes in this format, if you want to play more than one song in a row when you're doing a musical break, cool, if that works good. better for you, then you can do that as well. Sure. That's totally up to you. Sounds good. Um, so yeah, w- uh, one or two songs coming up after a couple questions from Boss Taylor. Yes. All right. So I want to start off by asking, what is your favorite foods to eat? Ooh, my favorite food. I have so many. Um, favorite food. I'm huge on like homemade mac and cheese is one of my favorite things ever, I think. (laughs) Um, yeah, I don't know. What have I been really loving lately? Um, I love, um, pho, Vietnamese noodle soup is probably one of my favorite meals to go out for, for sure. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> have you ever tried that, Taylor? No. Yeah, oh, you gotta. Maybe you're gonna have to try it soon. I, I might have to. <laughs> and um, I like. Uh, I really like the bacon mac and cheese. I think that's the best bacon <laughs> idea they've ever made. Bacon mac and cheese. It's a. It's a good combo. <laughs> the best bacon idea they've ever had. <laughs> bacon mac. Bacon and mac. Of and all cheese. things that you could have bacon <laughs> added to. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I, I think so. That's a pretty big endorsement. Grandmaster Mario <laughs> was into competitive eating as well. That's something that uh, excellent one of his passions. <laughs> oh, he's in the no, you, no. I said Grandmaster Mario. You, <laughs> yeah, you, I am you in the not me. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So yes, yeah. There's a few others. Yeah, you had one, you had at least one more question before we get at to least our one more. next musical break. Yeah. So, what are your favorite movies? Favorite movies. Um. Hmm. I don't know if I have like an all-time favorite movie. I might have to think about that one a little bit. Sometimes Taylor, okay. <laughs> remember what you said? Sometimes you say uh, a favorite movie, or maybe books if they're into reading, or oh yeah, yeah, or TV shows if they're like yeah, TV sure. Shows. I can maybe or comic book su- favorite superhero. Yeah, so yeah, maybe I can just. It's like uh, fle- it's flexible. <laughs> I can just maybe just favorite, talk what I like. And then, and favorite then, uh, superhero is definitely Batman. I don't know why. It's just. Always, Mine's always Spider-Man. been my favorite for sure. Your, yours is Spider Man. Yeah. Mine's nice. Batman and Silver Surfer. What about you, Taylor? <laughs> uh, I think I'll have to go with uh, Simmons Davis play uh, Spider Man. Spider Man is the most popular <laughs> superhero of all time. It's true. Something I learned recently. Yeah. Officially, but uh, Batman gets a lot of people like Batman. I think Bat- the appeal of Batman is he's just a regular guy who gets. Things yeah, like I think that's it. And some people, I guess, would argue he's not a not superhero a, not at a all. Not a regular guy, but yeah. um, but a, but but not. Something. He doesn't have magical superpowers. <laughs> uh, I think. Yeah. Something else about that uh, <laughs> Superman versus Batman movie. I think uh, Superman would definitely win if he had his full powers all the time easily. But uh, Batman used the kryptonite in the movie, so that's why Batman was able to. Batman it's found a way to outsmart him. Because <laughs> Kryptonite make, turns Superman into like a normal human. It's true. Yeah. It's weakness. And that's often how Batman confronts foes of unsurmountable uh, talents and and strength. Yeah. He out, he'll often outsmart them. Yeah, that's right. Uh, yeah. I was going to say that my favorite movies. Oh, actually, The Mighty Ducks. I like watching that. Those are great <laughs> movies. Yeah, who did you talk to about The Mighty Ducks with? It, was it Fate? Was it yeah, Fate it was uh, Mono. Oh, Mono. Yeah, Mono. All right. So we're going to get to some more songs okay. here. You're tuning sure. in to CFRU 93.3 FM in Guelph. This is a live to air with Wired to the Sky, who's playing with Bird City at the ANAF tonight. Uh, if you're going to be going out on the town tonight, the weather's nice. Go out and, and check out a show. Uh, and, but we're going to hear some more live songs uh, right now here uh, from Wired to Sky. Uh, you can say the name of the songs before or after you play them. Sure. Choice, choice is yours. This next one's called If My Love's a Burden. And uh, it's not out yet. I just recorded it. But uh should be out sometime later this year, hopefully. <laughs> Uh 
played out every conversation the weather could afford Drifted with the clouds right up to your door It's always the same answer I know well by now One thing's lost, another is found I walked out on you once, yes I ran away before I lied to myself, I think I lied to you more If you prefer that I don't speak another word tonight I will bite my tongue until the time is right So come on, tell me, go get lost before I do, let me share all my thoughts You are the real thing, I know it's true If my love's a burden, I'll run away from you And I know what all your friends say Maybe they're right It's you that has to live So it's you that should decide But I don't want to weigh on you So just tell it straight I will leave your side Follow the tide and wait But I'm not naive This isn't fate I get attached to anyone Yeah, I know what's at stake you are the real thing, not what you want to hear If my love's a burden, I will try and disappear There are many ways this could go ahead soon the Distance put between us will leave us only with the truth But every day you feel farther, farther away Should I accept it's happening anyway? Sure I'm afraid, don't you dare call me weak Look into a mirror and I will finally concede You are the real thing, not what you want to hear If my love's a burden, I will try and disappear And if my love's a burden, I will run Away from here. Should I do another one? Yeah, if you yeah, if you want to go right into another one. Sure. This is another new one. It says wide to the sky and see it for you. Things have happened. I wouldn't dare to ask for a favor I could not pay back. Just lately, can't get past the love that shook me down and held me fast. I was carrying my debt, I bounced every check I wrote. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. 
CFRU 93.3 FM in Guelph, CFRU.ca online. This is a live broadcast of Wired to the Sky playing tonight at the ANAF with Bird City. The show is from 8 to 11 p.m. Uh, the ANAF is located at 32 Gordon Street. And now I'm going to pass it over to Grandmaster Mario. He has a couple questions about some things that are of personal interest to him. Uh Yes. Uh, so uh, I'm just wondering, are you into uh, wrestling or Harry Potter? Um, I I've never been huge into wrestling, although I really appreciate um, all the skill that goes into it for sure. I'm definitely a fan of Harry Potter. Um, I read the books 
you know, ages ago when they came out, but uh, I just actually did a, a rewatch of the movies. I'm not quite finished, but uh, my partner and I are working our way through the series once more. So, uh, yes, on the Harry Potter, for sure. Oh, cool. I'm, I'm really into the uh, all the Harry Potters. I watched the movies and read all the books and yeah, I also played and beat all the games, too. How many times oh, nice. have you beat, beat all the games? Uh, 17 times. 17 And those times. are kind of long games. Yeah, they are. They're like three hours, two to four, two to four hours. And that's even on speed runs, so. Yeah. Like trying to finish it as fast as you can. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That equals like 170 altogether. And with the movies, I watch them countless times. Yeah, those you're really obsessed with. Yeah, yeah, I'm really obsessed with that. And the books, I just read through all, them all once. All right, so maybe that segues into your next thing you want. What we were wondering about video games, right? Yeah, are you into any video games? I was when I was younger. I was uh, obsessed with uh, Super Nintendo and Sega Genesis when I was a kid, but uh, I kind of. Haven't been in, as into it. Uh, I was also super into the N64, but uh, for the last couple of years, haven't been able to stay on top of the video games. But uh, yeah, every once in a while, I'll still uh, get in, really into one for sure. But uh, it's been a while. Oh yeah, cool. I'm I'm into Super Nintendo and N64. Yeah, too. those are the best. Also Wii and GameCube. Yeah, I've tried Wii. It's pretty fun actually. Yeah. You probably more favor the older ones though, eh, Grand Grandmaster? Yeah. Gra the name behind Grandmaster Mario <laughs> is um, Mario. A, um, Super Mario reference. Right. Nice. It's a reference to Grandmaster Pan, Quinn Fu, the Kung Fu master, as yeah. well as a reference to Super Mario. Yeah. Awesome. Um, anyways, so that yeah. also could maybe, since we're doing stories behind the names, do you yeah. want to wanna go over to Boss Taylor now? Uh, yes. So... Uh, what's the story behind the band? Be behind the name of it. So the, the name, name of, of it. Band? My bad. Um, I was trying to come up with the band name because I didn't really want to play under my own name. Um, and it's actually a song titled by one of uh, my favorite artists called Wooden Wand. Um, and it's kind of taken on a bunch, a bunch of different meanings to me. Um, other than that, I mean, I for me, it kind of like speaks to uh, the way kind of music lifts people up to something bigger than themselves and kind of unites us. And also uh, was kind of an inside joke because I'm a, a bit of a space case sometimes. So I'm just, you know, wired to the sky. <laughs> now, I, I, I was going to ask you one more question. Um, okay, since you guys mentioned uh, Harry Potter. Uh, what's your favorite character in Harry Potter? Um, I'd say Hermione probably. Actually. Oh, <laughs> mine too. <laughs> mine too yeah. Yes, it's favorite around here, eh? Because she's so good at spells. <laughs> well, that. <laughs> well, she is good at spells. Yeah, she is good at spells. Like better than the other one. Better That's than true. The rest of she's them. the best. Yeah, she is. All right, so yeah. we're, we're gonna get to another musical break here. Um, yeah, take it away. Sure. Uh, do I'll you want to play it. another couple songs? Yeah, I'll do another a couple. double shot. Sounds good. You're listening to Wired to the Sky here on CFIU 93.3 FM in Guelph, playing tonight with Bird City at the ANAF. <laughs> Suddenly, just to thinking of you, sobered me into the big dark moon. I'd rather not try. So leave my body, travel through time. I think of smiling, you look back at mine. It's hard not to think you're where I. I 
guess I never learned how to cut ties So most the new year I'm still asking why Did you get so hung up on me? Thought it'd be easy, thought it'd be free But I'm stuck on a downbeat and Vancouver ain't cheap I learned that from you But it's not my life Like a train I watch it rolls by Getting out of life's the best we did Then we'll let it live So how much money, how much time Will it take to get this song out of my mind? Just tell me what to do Ooh. Ooh. Oh, You have to say it cause we both know I broke my own heart long ago If getting out of life's the best we did Then we'll let it live Cause I'm letting Has to I know Getting out of life's the best we did Then we'll let it live Getting out of life's the best we did Then we'll let it This next one's called My Own War. Getting 
back in the morning I found I had no friends at all I left them like I left you my pathetic epitaph Feel a bit like fiction, maybe ghost inside my mind. But I know you're here, cause it happened in our lives. But you don't wanna be, you don't wanna be a part of mine. And that's fair, I was awfully ill prepared. But I have a witness who will swear I was there You say sure But what's that mean after all the hurt Could have used a couple words when I was still yours I had my own dial tuned in to CFRU 93.3 FM in Guelph. We have Wired to the Sky here for a live performance playing tonight at the ANAF with Bird City. Uh, it's 8 p.m. to 11 p.m., so sort of an early show. And the Wired to the Sky has been on tour recently. Grandmaster Mario has some questions about that and some other things right now. Take it away, Grandmaster. Yeah, so uh, what is your favorite uh, color? My favorite color, uh, I'm gonna have to go with purple. I think been oh, cool. a been a favorite for a while. Yeah. Yeah. Not sure why, but it's always spoken to me. Yeah, I think that's red and blue mixed together. Yeah, that sounds right. Yeah. Yeah. I think, yeah, I think, so. I think it is red and blue. Yeah. Yeah. Which happens to be red is Grandmaster Mario's favorite color. Yeah. Boss Taylor's favorite nice. color. Yep. And Leonard Leonard Squosen's favorite color is pink, but a close second is purple. Nice. So and all... red and and red and white makes pink. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah. Yeah, we we're on the similar color palette. <laughs> similar color palette here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so you got some questions about some other stuff too, Grandmaster. Yeah. What is your favorite city to play in? Ah, uh, favorite city. Hmm. Um, hmm. I mean, I've had really good shows everywhere. I've had, you know, bad shows in some places too. Um, but you know, lots of, I've had pretty good experiences coming out here and doing kind of this run of Ontario. Um, I've had really good shows in Guelph before that have been awesome. So I'm really looking forward to tonight. Um, I played a sh last sh show last week in Hamilton that was uh, really amazing. So uh, I don't know. It's been a uh, it's been a pretty good tour so far. All right. I don't know if I have an absolute favorite though, but all right. So that was Grandmaster Mario's questions. You had what were you gonna ask Taylor? Yeah, I was just just asking you what I was gonna say. Oh, you can't remember? No. Um, I think you were going to be asking about, uh, favorite stories from the road, I think. Where, you know? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, let's shoot, uh, favorite story on, on tour. Favorite story or if he on ha tour. If you have any favorite tour stories. Yeah. I don't know if I have any super crazy or 
funny tour stories. I'm sure I do. I just like in the moment can't think of anything. But okay. I mean, I always like. I think part of my favorite part about touring is meeting other people and hearing their stories. I guess, um, which I don't know if that's really answering your question at all. But uh, well, I, kind yeah. of. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. So. Um, like that's your favorite part of touring kind of is what you're saying yeah definitely just uh meeting people and hearing about their lives um it's kind of not an everyday experience you get to have um meeting different strangers every day and kind of having this brief uh intimate encounter with them you know um it's just a little bit different than what will happen in a normal job i guess so because you were born in America, do you have a dual citizenship? Can you tour in America more easily? I can, yes. I haven't actually done that too much, but I think it's on the plans for uh, next year. It's certainly an advantage that you have that. Yeah, definitely. I may as well take, uh, use that advantage. Well, it's it, you could <laughs> if you wanted to. It's hard. It's something that can be hard for people artists yeah, from Canada. Yeah, definitely. Or just in general, going there, doing stuff makes it easier yeah it's pricey it's getting more expensive all the time to to get the uh proper work permit to do it all right so we're gonna have a couple more songs you're listening to wired to the sky playing live on cfru playing tonight at bird with bird city at the anaf take it away <laughs>
it's called not right now Uh, what? Wired to the sky. Sorry, wired to the sky on ninety three point three three F R U. And uh, yeah. All right. So Wired to the Sky is playing at the ANF tonight with Bird City, and we want to thank you very much for joining us on the show. It's been broad- broadcast live on the CFRU YouTube page. And there's been green screen action happening. Uh, Brides are doing green screen action. Check it out on the CFRU YouTube channel. It'll be up there on the on our channel that we have going. And uh, we've got a lot of other cool ones up there that you can check out too. And please check out the show tonight. It's 8 to 11. It's a bit of an early show at the ANAF there. Uh, what other sign-offs do you guys have? Oh, 
David. Um, just have a great week, everyone. I'll see you next week. Bye. And then for me, uh, have a great week, everyone, and uh, enjoy the weather out there. And uh, and special thanks to uh, Katie McKenzie and Lucas for being on t- the show today. See ya. Bye for now. All right, Dylan, you got any closing remarks? The last sign off. Just thanks for having me uh, on the show, and uh, thanks for listening. All right, tune in again next week for another episode of Special Olympics Variety Hour here on CFRU, 93.3 FM and Guelph. All right. You're listening to CFRU, 93.3 FM.